Okay, so I haven't seen any videos of the Godox SL150 um, running temperature at 100% light output. So I'm doing this uh, on my own light and testing it out. So after previous, you know, failed fan conversion that I've did before, I actually put the stock fan back onto the light. And uh, you know what, actually now I'm quite happy that I have the stock fan back. Despite that crazy loud fan noise, it, it actually works like super nice. So here is at 100% the temperature of the light. Now I am inside a room, you know, that's AC um, temperature controlled. Um, so the room temperature right now is about 75 degrees, uh, give or take maybe 34 degrees. And uh, this is what the fan's temperature is at, which is 43 Celsius degrees. So if you don't know how, here's quickly how to switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So you just press the light output button for a few seconds. So it switches to the you know, Fahrenheit display. So it's 109 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not bad, you know, it's like Texas hot sun is about this temperature. Um, and we're talking about a 150 watt LED light uh, that have a massive heat sink under. Um, I, in previous videos, some, someone mentioned that the stock fan they have, um, the fan is running at I think 49 Celsius degrees. So maybe that's a case for some areas that doesn't maybe have the air conditioning or some area that's maybe a little bit hotter than inside a um, temperature control room. So, but if you're in a temperature control room, this is what you would expect at 100% light output for the Godox SL150, okay? So just want to put this video out there for anybody that, uh, that are curious about the running temperature of the light at maximum output. Anything that's less than 100, it goes below 40 Celsius degrees, which I think is a very is a very good temperature to be at, um, considering you know this is a the the LED components are easily broken you know with higher temperatures or if you're constantly running at higher temperatures. So there you have it. Questions, comments, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much and take care.